Luann is a friend and she's very loyal to this show. I just feel, look, there are certain people, look, I mean, uh, who am I to talk about sobriety, right? I just think there are certain people that are sober, sober and never can have a drink. And I think there are other people that have this sliding scale, which now everyone who's in the program is going to say to me, that's not the case. You can never drink. And, but I mean, Luann is, you know, so it doesn't, just knowing Luann, like it never shocks me when there's a drink here or there. That's not revealing anything and it's not shocking. Do you know what I mean? Whereas I have other friends where I know that if they took a drink, we wouldn't hear from them for three weeks. Like yeah, that's just, right. it's, and what do I know? This is the whole California sober or semi-sober arguments, which Lala yeah. Kent would come very strongly for me with these loose statements because she's like, no, you either are on something well, or not know. i mean yeah yeah i guess i appreciate the honesty, honesty from yeah. Luan, whereas like we haven't really gotten that from shannon bedore you know we we've, we've we're kind of led to believe she's like doing this um alcohol sobriety wellness you know retreat or whatever but of course you hear like she's drinking and you know she hasn't said anything so who was it that was saying to me, oh, okay, there is a, like, you know how you hear so many things you have to say. There's an ex-housewife who's not necessarily on the show anymore, who was saying to me, we don't need to mention who this is. She's like, you know, if you think about it, this whole reality reckoning and things, she's like, here's a woman, Shannon Bedore. This is what this true housewife was saying to me. She's like, here's a woman. And now she's going back to this environment and she's going to be presumably drinking. And there's going to be this woman, presumably Alexis Bellino is getting a contract, and her ex that she says is her kryptonite, love of her life, they're going to oh. be right there. And she's like, let's just really have, this is, oh, this is off air. This is like me having a phone conversation with someone. And she's like, you realize, like, if something happens to Shannon that's self-inflicted, I mean, bravo. Like, this is just to me, and I'm like, you're right. I didn't really think about it that dark, but she's like, it's not so far from something that could happen. I'm like, you're right. Like for real. No, isn't it, isn't it crazy to see Alexis and John together and like out. Did you and see like, that kiss that just happened? Yes, on that boat or whatever they were on. Yeah. I mean, you know, look, I, I'm always one of two things. Like maybe these two really found each other and they're madly in love. Now the other maybe. thing. Maybe. Maybe. Right. But <laughs> we know they're both TV whores. So that leads you to believe, right? That they're like, oh, there's a little bit of a spark and this is good for our careers. Yeah, I mean, I think Bravo has to be talking to and wondering how Shannon Bedore's mental health is. And 100%. if you don't, then this is the whole thing of Bethany's reckoning. And right, like I'm not so this housewife was saying to me, like, are we really sure Shannon's able to really, truly? And the thing is, if you're not going back to a show where you were paid, probably at this point, $800,000, $900,000, Shannon, seven hundred to engage in drama and drink, it's probably not good if you're having a real life thing isn't that the whole reason we paused dorinda because she had a mental breakdown over tinsley i mean it's like yeah. is, is am i the only one that's seeing that shannon bedore should be paused like for real life issues here rather yeah. than capturing a minute on the screen like to me it's not i'm not sure shannon's okay that's just me and by the way to what you just said i'm not so sure that like here's the thing about alexis and john that kiss to me was really just like mm. Like, it was so quick. I'm like, I don't know. Can I see some making? Like, if you're really, really dating and all this stuff, let me see something. As much as I do not want to see PDA from anyone, unless it's like Zac Efron and Justin Bieber in a corner together, that I'll sign up for. That that would be but, hot. Right? But, like, I don't know. That pack, it's... That kiss didn't necessarily prove anything to me because everyone's like, look, they're together, PDA. I don't know. That was a pretty quick kiss. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Um, no, I could see that. I could see that. I think you're I think you're right. And do we know if contracts well, we we do know contracts went back out, right? And Shannon Bedore has been renewed. Of course, that doesn't really mean anything. They can stop at any time, but stop it. Shannon's coming back. Apparently she and Heather and Tamara. Isn't Alexis coming back? 
I, it's not confirmed that Alexis got a contract. Like nothing is really confirmed, but the time is like now, like January is when this will probably happen and start filming. So again, I would say it was my second least favorite franchise of the year. Atlanta to me was trash. Everyone's, ooh. I'm not so sure. Potomac is Potomac is neck and neck with the OC for the second worst franchise of this year. Neck and neck. It's not, to your point, it's not, doesn't seem to be generating the discussion. I think we thought it was going to. Like, are you enjoying it? Well, I'm behind on that too because of just being on break. But um, with no. Niger- with, you know, the Nigerian culture and that did not hit how they thought, thought it, it was going to no i think it's i agree with wendy osefo was just on watch what happens live and it was like you know like she said i was the first nigerian woman ever to be on a reality show and then this season it's like completely kind of making i feel like just like making fun of the culture i know that obviously spells and you know i mean that's been a part of a lot of different religions um but this whole thing is just, it does seem like it's backfired. It's, you know, I don't know. I mean, listen to me. Against each other, it, it's, and you know, the, I, I need to watch because there's a scene that everybody is talking about where Juan is on the phone with Robin and like starts yelling at her and people are really had it with Juan. But I mean, I don't know. I, I, I do kind of feel like, it's just jump the shark. I, I do feel like you've got to break up Robin or Giselle. Like it's, it's not working. I don't think anymore. Listen, my prediction, I mean, well, not my prediction, but my advice, my advice would be to get rid of Robin NECA, the professor, and I guess Ashley, and I, really? I'm not supporting keeping Giselle, but let's just assume that that's like a given that Andy will never fire her. So mm-hmm. I would keep Giselle candy gal and, uh, a grand dom. And I guess you can maybe keep, oh, you can keep Ashley if you want, but I would also get rid of Mia. I'm sorry. I know she has a lot going on. This, this franchise has to be fixed. You guys. You think so? You think it's at that place? It's like, we're not getting anything still, even with Ron, Robin and Juan, it's still like, let's have a reality show. Let's get under the hood of the car. I don't think Juan really wants to, to, to participate, which I think you're seeing, you know, I think he's doing the bare minimum to help Robin keep the job, but even Robin to me, I don't know. I just don't even know if Robin wants to do it really. Does she, does it seem like that? It doesn't seem to me like Robin's really that in it. No, she just wants to keep the paycheck. Yeah. It seems like that. Mm-hmm. I get uh, I, I get that trust me yeah right uh, I have my days here behind the velvet rope guys um before we move on to the franchise that's like getting everybody talking which is Salt Lake City I mean Ooh, uh, like, girl. it's so it's so amazing but I did want to ask you you know Rachel Levitt